All right, it's Andrew and Jeff here. What's up, guys? We are going to show you a spin die technique that we just learned. This was our first attempt at trying, and we are going to show you guys how we did it on this disc. So we'll give you step-by-step -step instructions. So some things you're going to need. You're going to need, obviously, the disc that you want to use. Uh, you're going to need your colors of dyes. We're going to use blue, purple, red, and orange. You're going to need some paint brushes. Uh, you're going to need some form of spinning technique. We are going to use this mini fan that I took the, uh, the cage off and we're going to use that as our spinner. Um, you're going to need some acetone to mix your dye with. It, uh, it dries the dye on the disc instantly, which we just found this out watching another video. Um, even if you mix the dye with water already, you can still mix that with the uh, acetone and it should still work. Uh, and we are using hot glue here to dye, or sorry, to glue our disc onto the fan so that it will stay in the same spot while we spin it. Alright, you need to make sure it's pretty centered on whatever your spinning technique is. That's kind of off-centered. We might get, retry it and get back to you. Alright, so we got the disc centered. You might want to have some toilet paper or paper towel nearby in case it sprays or splatters somewhere. As you can see, it's not perfect, but it's close enough. Close enough for us anyways. Uh, we're going to begin the dyeing. We have our small paintbrush here. Alright, so we're going to start dying here and get the disc up to speed. You don't want it spinning too fast because you're going to start throwing dye everywhere. You just want to slowly let it start going. I'm kind of working the camera and the on and off with the fan speed, so forgive me if I mess up on one of these parts. I'm also trying to dab off some of the dye on the side of the cup each time, once again, just to try and not make a mess. Not applying too much pressure, just setting the brush on the disc and letting it take the dye. Just finished blue here. We're gonna move on to purple. I'm gonna get back to you once this step is done. Oh, slow it down. Well, price. Jeez. Starting with red now. Looks good. Yeah. All right, starting with the orange. Alright, we're just we just completed the orange. We spun it fast on purpose to get the uh, streaks on the side here. You can see how like the color kind of mixes. We think that looks pretty sweet. So if you want that, just add a little bit extra dye and let it spin a little faster. But you might get some dye flinging. But uh, just make sure you have something to clean it up with. It comes off countertops and. Not clothing, so be careful about that. Yeah, but it looks pretty cool so far. We're going to add yellow right now. Decided for that one. All 
All right, so now we're just gonna take it off our finger. I throw it under the sink here and see what it looks like. It's pretty nice with the acetone being mixed in with the dye. It takes dye instantly and the acetone dries it away, so you don't have to worry about leaving it to dry for a certain amount of time. I feel like that turned out pretty well. One little splotch down here, I'm not sure what happened, but I like it. Yeah, it looks pretty sweet. Awesome. Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time.